What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and welcome to another Champion's Path opening. Champion's Path has been an interesting ride, and today is no exception. Um, we got these boxes apparently two days early before release, so I guess we have a little bit of early access going on. We got the uh, Stoan side and Sir Chester. So, uh, we're doing a break for our patron TT. Thank you so much for the support and allowing me to crack these packs open. Not only do we have two of these, but we'll toss in a case of pins as well. So uh, that should be 9, 18, 28 packs, 20 all together looking for that Charizard. Uh, I believe the one he's looking for right now is that shiny. So we'll see what we could do for him. And uh, pins look pretty good, but I really like this Gengar. So we're gonna crack open to this stuff, be right back. All right, and we are all set. Let's take a look at the pro. I really like this Gengar art. Pretty has a pretty cool ability that I feel like hasn't been really leveraged too much. A Lapras, the Colossal with the cool ability, and then a pretty cool looking Machamp. So we'll put these down here. I really, you know, I can't say enough how I think the pins were really well done. Versus just having, you know, whatever, like one of these Pokemon for each of them instead like we're typically like the Mewtwo and Mutins there's everyone has like a bunch of those uh the Latios Latias but uh all right T best of luck we have 28 packs for you here we go we got a lot of stuff to open so we'll go pretty fast probably just hit the you know what? we'll just peruse right to the rare I think all right so don't need to check everything. We'll start off with a Eldegoss, okay. Let's see, um, try to keep piles somewhat organized. So already one hit, Eldegoss, really useful ability. Is this just exactly the same art? It looks the same to me. Let's grab some sleeves. All right, hit number one, just an Eldegoss. I imagine most people have there, Eldegoss, you only need, what, one per deck? And uh, I'm sure we got plenty from Sword and Shield. Wait, no, we don't need to do this anymore. Let's just go fast. Altaria. Whoops. Altaria, interesting Pokemon. Looks like that's gonna be plenty available. So stuff, obviously we're looking for the V-Match Charizard and the Shiny. Looks like they're about the same price on TCG Player. And a couple people on Discord are starting to pull them. Oh god, it's Force of Habit, guys. I can't turn that off. Hey, we have a Gardevoir. I believe T, um, he's been pulling a lot of these Gardevoirs on these breaks. Um, but let's take a look at the centering. Actually, let me put this down real quick. Take a look at the centering for the Gardevoir. Guessing the regular V is not going to be too um, hot item for PSA, but this one looks pretty well centered. And if we do want to get this graded, we'll put a penny sleeve for you. Two hits already. Haven't gotten any of those hyper rare yet. All right, reverse energy. We'll take it. But yes, we do offer breaks on this channel. Check out the Patreon page down below. And uh, yeah, offer pretty good deals for our VIP patrons. Um, basically for all the products as of right now for um, months, September and October. Basically offering all the products at $4 per pack, including the ETB. ETPs is kind of like while supplies last. That will definitely be the first thing to run up. And um, yeah, we're I guess we're all set for Friday. Um, was considering uh, going out and trying to find the new product, but considering that somehow the vendor sent us that early, um, you know, it's really strange. So we got a couple of cases of the pins, and today we got some of these new new pins, obviously. But the thing that we haven't received yet is any of the doubles, which, um, yeah, at this point, just give me the new stuff, but... It's kind of ironic. We do have a good amount of ETB still, though, for future breaks. And, oh, we just got op got in some cases of Hidden Fates tins. So, I mean, we'll see how this set co uh, ages compared to HF. 
my feeling is that a year from now, I bet we'll be doing more HF. Just so many shinies to hit. Um, CP, you know, more hyped, surprisingly. But I think Hidden Fates is the better set. So if you're looking for that instead, we also can hook you up. All right, so we're getting burning through a good amount of these packs. Only two hits still, no texture cards yet. All right, gotta come through for T. A Dreadnought V Full Art. Um, hey, it's a turtle. Uh, it's not crazy about Dreadnought, the Sword and Shield era turtles. You know what? I the centering is really good on these cards, so that is a very positive sign. Now we just have to find that Charizard, and then hopefully we have a very well centered Charizard for PSA. So third hit right there. First texture card. We can do a little bit better though, right? A uh, grapple lock. Let's see. I never looked at this card. Tie up twenty. Can't uh, can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Is a basic though. Uh, One twenty flip heads. Hundred and hundred more damage. Let's take a look at the centering. Um, I feel like that's pretty good as well. So there's been some speculation on the Discord, like when you pick it up from online vendors, the... Actually, oh, actually one thing that is consistent is like when the packs kind of disintegrate when you're opening it, that the centering isn't as good. These ones are opening really nicely, and the centering is better. This did come from an online vendor, but other than that, uh, yeah, that... As far as like the quality of the print runs, that seems to be lining up so far. All right, not sure how many packs we're through, but we have four hits so far. So we got something, a Corsola. There you go, Corsola V. And once again, the centering looks good. T, just let me know if you want to get any of these graded. I'll put them in these penny sleeves for now. All right. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the opening, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, you know the normal spiel helps uh, grow the channel, reach out to new possible viewers. And of course, if you're not subbed already, hit that sub button so you get notified or bell for notifications for future videos. Yada, yada, yada. Let's keep going. I feel like uh, compared to some of our other breaks, we're getting a pretty good hit ratio. Just looking for those home runs. No Charizard's at. We have an Incineroar. I do like that art. Looks pretty good. And once again, good centering. So all the conditions are are met. <laughs> are, we're meeting most conditions for a very nice PSA 10 Charizard. Just the Charizard missing, but print run. So far looks pretty good, even for a textured card. Maybe it's from a different sheet for like the hyper rares, I'm not sure. Nothing there. But I, as like, you know, someone that does have a YouTube channel, I do feel like this set isn't, maybe just cause the set is pretty small and there's not much to find outside of the big hits. I do like that my champ art though. So yeah, some of the art is nice. All right, more than halfway through. Yeah, we're kind of moving kind of fast. Don't want this video to be too long. Oh my gosh, hop again. We pulled this guy so many times. I think that is our third hop on this channel. I think we got two Gardevoir Vs and one Dreadnought. Centering checks out again. Um, Not a fan of you, hop, but we'll take it. All right, what is that? Hit number seven for this opening. So ratio is looking pretty good so far. Yeah. But yeah, try, gonna try to pump out a video every day for a little bit. Uh, we got our live openings on Friday evenings, PTCGO on Monday, Wednesday. 
Got a reverse energy. Uh, we'll leave in this pile for now, but. All right. So I've seen a Dreadnought B Max. We've seen a couple Gardevoirs. A yeah, good amount of Optigoons. Interesting card. But uh, I'm curious to kind of like zero in on what the hit ratio is for the Charizards. Um, I don't know, I've been hearing all sorts of numbers and it's just like, you know, we don't have a big sample size to really determine that and we're still looking for our first one. Hopefully it comes soon. Shoutouts to TJ on Discord. Said it took him about 200 to hit the first one, but then the second one came pretty quick and yeah, congratulations on finding both. I think it's pretty nice when, if the goal is to have one of each, um, actually no matter what, it's a celebration, but you know, like if you keep getting like the same one. A Alcrame, you know, we're getting a wide variety. So far, no dupes. Let's just make sure to check on the center again. Oh, I do like how everything is well centered. Yo, even for some of these, um, you know, not, not home run cards. I imagine, you know, myself included, I like the idea of having kind of like uh, full sets of PSA 10. Obviously not what everyone's chasing, but still working on that for Hidden Fates. Recently sent off all, like a lot of, um, try to finish the secret uh, hidden, hidden vault, whatever it's called, shiny vault. So I'll have a bunch of that stuff off at PSA. Probably to get it back in six months from now. All right, wow, down to two packs. T, I feel like we got a good amount of hits. Not the ones we're looking for out of 20, 28, eight or so. Hopefully we can get at least one more. Nothing there, Zygarde. Man, still haven't found a secret rare. No gold card, no rainbow yet. Either way, T, thank you for giving me the opportunity to open this for you. <laughs> There's this is like your what, third Gardevoir? <laughs> oh, T, I hope you love Gardevoir. We got another one for you. And I bet this one is, once again, well-centered. All right, now we just gotta turn these V Maxes into Charizards. I ran out of penny sleeves. So let's see, nine, nine out of 20. So that's like, what, one out of three? That's a pretty good ratio. Um, but yeah, thanks T for giving me the pleasure of opening these packs for you and um, Yeah, as always guys Check out the link down below patreon link down below if you're interested in picking up a break uh, Basically, it's four dollars per pack right now for all the various products that we have available All in that guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time